Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So now in this video, um, I'm going to be showing you that how can you take uh, advantage of the WordPress platform for your SEO because WordPress is so amazing and so helpful when it comes to SEO guys because WordPress will help you a lot and you will love WordPress after um, just watching these videos that I'm t uh, telling you right now. So I'm not just optimizing everything here with this create a WP dot site. Okay. I'm just telling you that how you will get a lot of help from the WordPress. But first, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay, so, but first, before getting it started with it, we first have to look at the domain and the web hosting. Okay, so this is very important for a website. Okay, and before that, we have to focus on the keyword. And what is a keyword and how everything, everything might be um, jumbling into your head and you must be like, okay, I want to know. Okay, so what is a keyword? Okay, like let's suppose that I want to build an online store for the shirts. Okay, I want to do the business for a WordPress e-commerce site and my main aim is to give the shirts or supply the shirts. It can either be like um, in my country or it can either be like in my city or it can either be like um, worldwide. Okay, so it may vary. Now, if you want to do it in your own city on your or your own country, and then I would highly recommend you to buy the domain name of your country extension. Like, like I live in Pakistan, okay? And here, usually those websites come on the number one page result, those who have the domain extension of the country. So let's suppose that I search for like, um, buy laptops online okay let's suppose that i searched for this now let's see which websites come on the number one page results so this is an ad basically let's just see it says buy laptops online in pakistan at best prices it says telemart.pk so this is the first website we have here is the pk okay so it refers to like if you want to business start a business um, in your own country, then make sure to buy your domain name for your own country extension, okay? So like this, okay, it says the first one is telemar.pk. It's not telemar.com, okay? And we have ishopping.pk, daraz.pk, myshop.pk, okay? parklab.pk, galaxy.com.pk, symbios.pk, pklens.pk, and then we have amazon.in. So we cannot compare them with the Amazon, okay? Amazon is the huge company and they don't even just like stand with the Amazon, okay? So, but do you see one thing? Is that this, my country is set to Pakistan, okay? And whatever I'm searching, Google will give me the results related to my own country. So this is the power of the domain name that you have to focus on, guys. So if you are doing a business locally, in your own country and then make sure to get a domain name that has your country extension so if you are in the us you can go for us so i think that uh, for the au australia uh, basically my brother lives in there and he had to just register a domain name so i was just building a website and it had an error that i cannot register because i have to register um a company there in Australia. I don't know why it was there and something like that because um, I was registering a domain name for that. So it was a problem for me. So um, if you have a problem in like um, your country that uh, that country will tell you to register um, a business first with the taxation and every information, then I would highly recommend you to do that because if you do that, it will help you a lot, guys. Seriously, if you have your country extension. Okay, so now, Basically, how to get that domain name. So, HostGator will not give you that domain name because um, HostGator works uh, worldwide and it uh, don't have much resources to give every country's extension domain name. So, how you're going to do that? So, let's suppose that um, you live in the US, okay? I'm going to be searching for United States domain, okay? That's all I have to search. And it's going to give me, like, where to register and where to do it. So, it says about.us, get a US domain, Okay, dot US. 
what is the domain of the phone? Okay, um, US domain name registration. So it says this, okay? And so if I live in like um, UK, UK domain registrar, okay? And it's gonna give you like .co.uk. So this is most popular for um, UK. And so this is how it works, okay? And if I just search for anything, then you can register, open it up. So um, the most uh, popular the registrar that I'm telling you right now um, is Namecheap. The second one is like GoDaddy. The third one is, okay, I don't know. I just use uh, Namecheap and the GoDaddy, that's all. And for the registration of the domain name here in Pakistan, um, neither GoDaddy supports nor that uh, name team. So the pknic.com is the one that uh, registers. Uh, okay, it, it, it is, I think, pknic.net. pknic.pk. Okay, so I think this is the one, and they will help you get uh, the domain name for the pk. So if you want to register it. So if you live... Uh, abroad uh, here and you want to register a domain name for Pakistan then it will cost you like $49 per two years okay so this is how it's gonna work so you can register a domain name for that and you can work with it so I would highly recommend you to buy a domain name for your own specific country okay so now the second tip that I have here is that make sure that um, you have a brand name, okay? Um, what do I mean by that? Let's suppose that I want to start a shirt business, okay? So I'm not gonna be registering a domain name for like t-shirts.pk. t-shirts.pk is a great domain name, but I'm not gonna be registering a domain name like buy t-shirts.pk. So t-shirt.pk would not be available because t-shirt.pk must be registered with by someone else, okay? So, this is how it's gonna work. I have to focus on a brand name. You can see GoDaddy is a brand name. Namecheap is a brand name. Names is a brand name, okay? So this is how it's gonna work. If I just search for like um, what we were searching, laptops buy online. Okay, then you can see that every domain name here is a brand name. It says Daraz, it says Daraz, it says Stella Mart. It says Clap. It is iShopping. It is my shop. So um, iShopping seems like a brand name. This seems like a brand name because it's not an Eng English word. Okay, so your brand name consists of English words, but make sure that your word kind of looks like a brand name. And if it is looking, your website will go huge enemy. So now, basically, now we know how to work on a domain name that we want to start locally. Okay, now let's suppose that I want to register a business, okay, or that I want to start a business and I, want, and I have the clients from all around the globe. If I have that, then I would highly recommend you to go with a .com domain name. Leave .net, .net, don't go with .net, .co, or .dot, uh, these type of stuff, do not go with that, okay, because um, .com, will come on the top and people say that you should be choosing another domain name okay this might work sometime but um the majority is like dot com here so if 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 you want to target all your clients from all over the world keep that in mind guys if two business are being run okay let's suppose that this is the guy um who is running a business and he is doing a business locally and you are doing a business um, all around the globe. So if I live in a country of this guy who is doing the business locally and I just search here, laptops buying online and you are also selling laptops and that guy is also selling laptops, but that guy has the domain name of the country domain name. Like he wants to target only Pakistan, uh, only Pakistan people. Okay, and you want to target all around the world. Google will show the website that the guy who wants to target Pakistan people because um, his uh, his his audience is limited. Okay, so if his his audience is limited, then Google will um, give his site on top. So keep that in mind. 
and then move with the .com domain name. So you can also go with like um, you register two domain names for your own country as well. Like um, so if my uh, brand name is Tijaku or something like that, and then I can go with like tijaku.com and tijaku.pk, tijaku.co.uk. So I can register three, four, five domain names at once. Okay, and then I can build a website for there. So if a guy just search for that specific domain name for a specific keyword, um, like laptops by online, and then he will see my website. He will be re re redirected to it. Okay, so this is um, uh, number one tip that I'm giving you right now. Okay, so now we're totally um, done with the domain name. So I hope that you guys have got the idea of how domain name works and how you should choose your domain name wisely. So in the next video, um, we'll be working up with the more tips. So make sure that you um, keep these tips as very important because what I'm giving you will help you a lot. So stay tuned, guys, and bye-bye.